Hey guys, welcome back to Grim Productions, and today I'm going to be discussing why I think Toothy the Clown, aka Spear Halloween's newest animatronic release, which just got released uh, yesterday, um, is one of Spear Halloween's best clowns of all time, if not one that we've definitely gotten in a while. Um, now, this might be somewhat of a controversial video, but this is just my opinion, so if you have your own opinion, different opinion, whatever, please put it down in the comments below, because I would love to read your, op your opinions, um, and just see what you guys think overall about this new animatronic. So basically, in this video, I'm going to be comparing Mr. Toothy to some other clowns that we've gotten in the past, um, some in recent years, and I'm just going to be kind of comparing like what I think makes Mr. Toothy definitely one of the best clowns we've gotten, and uh, I will be doing another video with him, doing a versus between him and probably another clown, probably like Wacky Mole or something, um, but we'll just see, um, depending on, I guess, how this video does. But anyways, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into why I think Mr. Toothy is definitely one of the best clowns we've gotten from Spirit Halloween. So I've said this a few times, I think, in the past of my channel, but I think what makes a good Halloween animatronic actually scary is how uncanny the character is, especially in this kind of, like, day and age where classic monsters like zombies and uh, witches and stuff like that aren't necessarily scary anymore the more I guess uncanny something is the more chance it has at being an actually creepy animatronic and I feel like Mr. Toothy does that well and for being a clown especially I feel like what makes him a pretty good prop is that he combines the goofiness and the um, creepiness of a clown pretty well uh, kind of like I feel like Henry Hustle did last year although I do think that Henry's first main head um, was a little bit creepier than the actual monster head that's just because of how uncanny it was and i feel like mr or, or toothy the clown um definitely does achieve that goal especially with like his teeth and like the stitching that he has on his head i think it's really really creepy looking but at the same time because of like the phrases in like his costume it kind of mixes in that goofiness in a way and i feel like if you were to have this guy out on a display it would definitely kind of like make some kids a little scared to go up to him and i kind of have the same feeling with wacky mole although wacky mold is a little bit more goofy for sure than creepy i do feel like he still kind of has a good mixture of both of them especially in like some of his really um like specific details like his hands specifically how they're almost like cartoon character kind of hands i just find that to be really creepy for some reason but at the same time it has that very like goofy clown-esque to it which i really you know i think that's good for clowns clowns nowadays which i think is the biggest problem and why i think clowns like um wacky mole toothy and henry hustle are so good is because modern clowns nowadays are one of two things they're either overly goofy or they try to be overly scary to the point where they're not actually scary take for example one of the newest uh, clowns we've gotten from spirit halloween from uh, 2022 season nozzles the clown now this clown in my opinion is probably one of the most goofiest looking clowns um and just in general has a very goofy personality character uh etc he's just not scary at all i don't know if they were trying to actually make this prop scary but he just doesn't make a good clown in my opinion i feel like the the creativity was there for this character he's unique which is something that we don't see that much now of especially with clowns um but i just feel like it was just way too over the top goofy i feel like if we were to gone some kind of like a mutant clown with like the the uh, radiate radiation uh, radioactive kind of style theming um i feel like it would have been really really cool maybe like half of his face could have been like like an alien looking clown um and i just think overall that would have been really cool very like killer clowns matter space-esque but instead, we have this really Joker kind of looking clown with nozzles for hands, which I feel like that could be a cool concept if they would have made him more, just a bit more creepy, I feel like. He's just so goofy looking, and it's just way too over the top. And in my opinion, and I'm sure a lot of people think this too, clowns like this that are like extremely goofy are kind of annoying. Um, I do know that a lot of people do like to have these clowns, especially people that maybe want like a more kid-friendly um I guess haunt or display but if you're trying to have a like circus themed display and have animatronic an animatronic clown in there um nozzles definitely wouldn't scare anyone i don't think however on the complete opposite side of the spectrum we have crouchy the clown who i feel like the um designers were trying to just make overly too scary and i feel like it worked for most people or for some people there was a lot of people that i guess were kind of creeped out by him 
but there was also just a lot of people that kind of thought he was more cool looking as a clown and i th i think you know that is a still a good marketing strategy to make sure that your props do look cool and i think nozzles did kind of nail that in a way you know nozzles is a decently cool looking clown he's very unique but he's just overly too goofy while crouchy is on the opposite side where i think he's overly too scary to the point where he's just not exactly scary i feel like they forcefully designed him to look like an evil clown versus actually having a generally creepy clown that i don't think any kid would honestly want to go near like waving wally almost uh, who was sold the same year uh who had that just very eerie grin on him very human looking and i feel like that's kind of what makes a clown scary it has to have this creepy factor not so much scary factor which is what crouchy has a lot of but as a clown, you also do have to have a good mix of a goofiness to it. You, you can't just have a clown costume and be called a clown. Um, you have to have some elements of a clown as far as personality goes to actually make you somewhat of a funny yet creepy character that I think a lot of clowns do, you know, hit on the spot. And then there's old, many, many clowns that we've gotten these modern years that are just, they sway one side mainly the goofy side though we barely see any clowns that are like crouchy where they're like super duper scary um or try to be super scary most of these clowns especially by svi are completely to the goofy side where they're just honestly just i've heard many people say this but they're just big toys and i think that mr T or tooth of the clown is definitely a clown going into the right direction this is a, definitely a step going in the right direction and i hope that they continue to do more clowns like mr toothy and waving wally um where they're just really kind of eerie and creepy i do think that waving wally is probably scarier than toothy but toothy is a great example of how to do just an all-around good clown he like i said has a good mix of a kind of goofiness with his phrases that are kind of more of like a joking phrase but yet at the same time has a little bit of dark humor to them and his clothes of course are a bit more circusy looking a little bit bright colors like red and white um while at the same time he kind of does have you know the compliments of a creepy character um, especially in the teeth and the eyes I feel like are some of the most creepiest things about this prop uh, just the teeth are very uncanny looking and that huge smile is honestly really funny looking to me but at the same time I feel like it would creep a lot of people out because um, he just doesn't look very I guess friendly in some ways um, and then the stitches is just even though the stitching isn't really I guess the most scariest thing it's just a really good detail overall which I think detailing is another thing that would make a clown or any animatronic in general just like a really good um which i think mr toothy has absolutely nailed uh he has like the fingerless gloves which is something that we don't really ever see in a clown animatronic but i think it is a really cool feature the stitching the eyes the eyebrows just overall a really really good animatronic as far as the uh factors go with his personality and the detailing now would i go as far as to say uh, is mr toothy the best clown animatronic that we have ever seen I don't think I would necessarily say that. Honestly, I don't really know who the best clown animatronic um, is that we have seen. I feel like a lot of people would say Crouchy solely just because Spirit Halloween promotes him so much that that's kind of all they know for clowns. Um, at least the general public, I guess, would say something like that. But us as, I guess, Spirit Halloween fans, you know, we obviously look more into the detailing of the animatronics and the characterization and just what makes them truly creepy or just matches with the look of the character and i feel like that mr toothy is definitely has a rightful spot in at least the top five um best clowns that we've ever seen i think if possibly he were to have something else about him that was a little bit more unique besides the fact that he has very creepy grin and just um he swings maybe he could have been higher up on the list i think it would have been cool if he maybe had like a bloody knife in one of his hands as he was swinging or something um or just something that's more of like a i guess cannibal kind of weapon because in the story it does say that he's a cannibal um which is kind of a creepy uh, fact about him but i'm getting a little sidetracked basically if he had something else um to kind of i guess drive his character a little bit more maybe he would be one of the best or the best clown but i definitely think that he is one of the best clowns i i would argue that he's right up there with wacky mole i honestly i might like him even more than wacky mole clown um, but I honestly, I just wish that we could see him in person, hopefully, so that way I can kind of make my final decisions. And I know that everyone else really wants to see him in person too. Um, so hopefully they'll kind of do the same thing that they would bury and bring him back maybe for 2023. But I guess time will tell. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Please put down your opinions in the comments below. What do you think of Toothy the Clown? And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.